Greetings, my name is Tim Johnson. This is Recovery, Strength, Hope and Courage. It's a very short video, this, and it's directed at anybody who is struggling at the moment, whether you're still in addiction, whether you're into withdrawal, whether you're um, in early recovery or even deep into recovery. If you're struggling and thinking about giving up, this is directed at you and it's instigated by an email I had from someone who, who was saying to me, this is just too difficult. I can't, I can't go on. It's just too hard. It's too difficult. I'm going to give up. And we had a very long conversation and hopefully I helped this person join this conversation. And it sort of dawned on me during this conversation what they were saying about the word difficult. And I, and I said to them, you know, I was, I was thinking about it and I, it's like giving up smoking, isn't it? You know, yes, everyone says it's difficult to give up smoking, but it's actually more difficult to smoke. This is the analogy I was thinking of, you know, if you think about what you have to do to smoke, A, you've got to find a shitload of money to go out and buy the cigarettes. You've got to carry your lights around with you in your pocket everywhere you go to make sure you can light them. You've got to physically go out and buy the cigarettes and, and, and wherever you can get them from. You've got to find somewhere you can smoke them because these days it's very difficult to find somewhere that's socially acceptable to smoke them. Then you've got to find somewhere to dispose of the ash. Then you've got to find somewhere to dispose of the butt. Then you've got to find, uh, you know, you've got to wash your hands after because your hands stink. Then you've got to probably do your teeth because they stink, you know, your breath stinks as well. Then you've got to think about all the shit it's doing to your health and all the damage it's doing to you. And, and, and you know, it, it goes on and on and on this list. And that's difficult. It's difficult to maintain that, you know, and the list is a lot longer than that. And it's, it's all you've got to do to stop smoking cigarettes, really. And this oversimplifies it, really. But think about it. All you've got to do to stop smoking cigarettes is not put one in your mouth. And, and so that, that means really, essentially, you don't have to do anything to stop smoking cigarettes. So it's a lot easier to stop if you think about it than it is to carry on smoking. And the same analogy to, applies to opiates and alcohol dependence. Although it's much fiercer, obviously, and, I, and obviously I've been through long term both and I know, you know, it, it's difficult to think like that sometimes. But think about how difficult it is to maintain a habit, particularly, you know, drugs or alcohol, you know, and all those things, money, going out physically to get them when you're feeling like shit, waking up in the morning, you know, vomiting and feeling like shit and shaking and shuddering and, and not got the energy to get out of bed or have a shower or have a wash. You, you know, you, you, you're dirty, smelly, you've got no self-respect, your family don't want to come near you. You've got to physically then go out and find somewhere to buy. If it's drugs, it's probably somewhere illegal to get hold of them and all the trouble that that entails or skirting around chemists to go and buy, you know, get prescriptions and God knows what else. Or if it's alcohol, you've got to find somewhere to go and, and, and get something down here quickly to stop you shaking and find a shop and carry it back and physically do that and then on and on and on and on and on and not only all that everything you lose and everything it takes from you um you know and, and you know this i don't need to tell you this you know it took me it took everything from me you know almost everything and, and and i'm slowly getting it back bit by bit by bit by bit and it's a long hard job but it was it's much much easier even even for me in yes it's not pleasant to go through withdrawal it's not present in early recovery and dealing with feelings and, and emotions that you've never felt before. Uh, it's not pleasant, you know, to deal with trauma. Perhaps you've, you know, and I can't imagine some of the trauma you people have, have perhaps been through. I've been, I went through, um, my, my father disappearing at four. I went through physical abuse at a young age. I went through a drug addicted mother, um, who couldn't cope. And we, me and my brother bringing ourselves up with no money. You know, I went through all that, but some of the trauma you've been through is a hundred times worse than that, probably, you know, but you have to deal with these things. And so it's, it's a lot easier to deal with th these things slowly but surely than to stay in the pattern you're in and the addiction you're in, it, you know, because all you have to do is stop. And it's a massive relief when you realise you've got all those things you were doing in addiction to, you know, find the money and stealing, perhaps robbing, the worry, the pain, the suffering, you know, the... the, the the waking up in the hangovers or the withdrawal from the drugs, the going out and physically getting hold of the stuff, the you know, the the shit it was doing to your body, the state of you, your your dignity, your self respect, you, no no one loving around you, no one wanting to be near you, no friends, no company, even your children avoiding you and looking at you with disgust and pity, you know, and eventually not wanting to know you. All this is a lot harder than being in addiction. 
think about it. It's much easier to stop and not putting anything in your mouth than it is to carry on. It's much more difficult to be an addiction than it is to stop. It really is, and the rewards will come to you. If you're thinking about giving up, don't. Just believe in yourselves, because it will get better. And I always say at the end of all my videos, just hold on, because it's what I did. You know, someone told me that in rehab once. Just hold on, even if it's a second or a, a minute or 10 minutes or a day or a month even, but it will inevitably, every single time, get better, whatever you're feeling. And I'll make a video about dealing with resentments and pain and trauma and all these things and, and, and next time, but I just wanted to get this message across to those people that are struggling. There's an old saying, Chinese saying, you know, get knocked down seven times, get up eight times. Just never give up never give up because and, and and hold on because it will will get better someone once said that um, a person with outward courage dares to die a person with inner courage dares to live and that's very true because in addiction you're in death you're just in a living death a zombie death if you dare to live and you you, you take life by the balls again and you struggle through and it's hard and it needs commitment as i've said self-discipline and um, consistency and all these things and strength and courage and I admire you for even considering it and getting into it. I admire you and I respect you. And you should start to respect yourself and start to be proud of yourself again because you can do this. If you believe you can do something, you can do it. If you believe you can't do something, it won't happen. Believe in yourself and start to love yourself, regain some of that self-worth and self-esteem again. But whatever you do, don't ever give up. It doesn't matter how much you're struggling. It doesn't matter how much you're struggling because it will get better. And it doesn't matter how old you are because, you know, life is still for the living. I'm 57 years old. You know, George Burns once said, we all get older. We don't have to get old. And I won't allow myself to get old. I still do what I want to do. I'm fitter and stronger physically, mentally and spiritually than I was when I was 20 years old. And I'm 57. So it's never too late to do this. So whatever stage you're at, go for it. And, and I'll use that other saying, when I let go of what I am, I become what I might be. And, and you can be great and you can be anything you desire. You know, if you want it badly enough, you will get it. But you have to want it and you have to never give up. It doesn't matter how much you're struggling and it, you will get through it and it will get better. So that's a short message for today for anyone that's struggling. Seize the day today. If, you, if you're still in addiction or in a recovery or whatever stage you're at, seize the day because it can be a great day for you, a great day for you. And just hold on. Much love to you all and thank you for listening.